I'm Meg Finley and I'm a screen monitor with the Loudoun Wildlife Conservancy. This video is the third in a series that demonstrates the technique that we use to monitor streams throughout Loudoun County, Virginia. The methodology that we'll show you is based on the Virginia Save Our Streams methodology. With me I have Otto Gutenson and David Ward, also of the Loudoun Wildlife Conservancy, who will be demonstrating the technique as I explain the actions that we take through this process. First of all, Otto is going to place the net in the stream at a 45 degree angle, and David will come in with three rocks from outside our sampling area that he has cleaned in the side, and use them to anchor the bottom of the net on the stream bottom. After that time, he will gently massage the area of rocks in front of the net up to about a half a meter. This will give us a, a sampling area of approximately one half square meter. He is going to massage the rocks for 20 seconds, after which he will use a small garden rake to scrape the area for five seconds. This will enable us to collect everything that is living in this area on the stream bottom and it will be washed into the net. We'll then take the net over to the table and examine the contents and determine what kinds of invertebrates we have living in this stream environment. Some invertebrates are, pol are pollution tolerant. This means that even when the stream is polluted, they are able to live in this environment. By knowing what kinds of invertebrates are pollution tolerant, we can then compare that to what we find. On the other hand, some invertebrates are less pollution tolerant, and they are actually very sensitive to pollution. And we only find these organisms in very clean, healthy streams. In the next video, we'll examine the contents of the net and show you what we have.